Good morning everyone. It is 7.30 a.m. It's a Saturday and it is fresh outside. I've literally just woken up. Just letting Bonnie out to do her business. Today's video is very kindly sponsored by HelloFresh. More on them later. But we're going to be decorating for Christmas today. So we're going to be putting up the tree. We're going to be um, going to our local Christmas market and fair. And just having a really cosy day. We're going to be making a roast dinner and hopefully watching some sort of Christmas film, getting in the spirit. So yeah, welcome back to another home vlog. Can't wait to take you on for our day, but I'm gonna make a cup of tea and get back into bed um, because it's the weekend and I have to do an awful lot today apart from just chill, relax. I did have my microblading top up done for my eyebrows a few days ago, so they're looking like very pow <laughs> right now, um, but I really like them, look look incredible and I've got super super sore lips right now it's not a cold sore it's just really really dry I don't know if you can see them it's okay they will get better oh and also <laughs> this is going to be the last home vlog before we go to Walt Disney World so we'll talk about that later you're going to get a pack with me video later this week hopefully on Sunday is the plan um, and then no videos while we're away look at these bags under my eyes I'm gonna need to start using an eye cream, but Bonnie is such a princess. She needs to have her wet and her dry food mixed. Otherwise she just eats the wet and leaves the dry. Honestly. I got a new mug at Shop Disney this week. Look at this. Oh, this was boiling. Isn't that just so, so cute? So I'm just making my tea. I've just put on a new YouTube video from my friend Joel Wood. He's been vlogging every day in November. So if you want to go and check out somebody who does really great chit chatty, nice vlogs, Joel is the person for you. Um, but I got the most beautiful bunch of flowers this week from a PR that I work with just to say thank you, which was just the nicest, nicest thing. And they are stunning. Like look at these flowers. They actually could be the nicest bunch of flowers I've ever been sent. So I'm just gonna trim them and replace the water and keep them looking nice, but they're beautiful. My decorations are gonna come away with bags. editing a video for about an hour and a half-ish. I'm doing the Harry Potter video at the moment, so if you missed that, we went to the Hogwarts in the Snow and did dinner in the Great Hall, and it is so magical watching it back. But yeah, I'm just putting it all together, and then I'm gonna wake Benj up in a minute. Bonnie's gone back to bed with him, so they're both asleep on our bed. And I need to wash my hair today because you can't put um, any steam or water or sweat or anything on freshly microbladed brows. So I haven't washed my hair in a few days. Good morning, Bonbon. We have to wake your daddy up. Let's wake him up, come on then. Good morning. <laughs> oh, guess what day it is today? What day is it? It's two days. It's Christmas day. It's not quite Christmas day, it's... Oh, it's Christmas day today. It's Christmas decorating day. Oh, I've been missold a day then. <laughs> I thought I was getting lots of presents. <laughs> you don't get many presents from me anyway. <laughs> and single digit day. Single digit day. It was actually yesterday, but that's okay. <laughs> you wanted to do a single digit dance. That's it. Day's over. Rubbish. <laughs> we have Bonnie's <laughs> toys in the bed. Um I have been editing the Harry Potter vlog. It's really cute. Is it? Yeah. Good. But um, Bonnie needs to go out for a walk. Bonnie, take yourself for a walk. And also, I need to wash my hair, but I need your help. Do you oh, remember last yes, time? Yes, I do remember. Bonnie is going to the groomers on Monday. <laughs> so she's looking quite fluffy right now, bless her. We normally keep her short, because that's just how we've always had her and how she was when we, well, when she came to us. But look at her, she's so excited. You ready for your morning walk? Yes. So exciting. You know, I'm talking to you. I could be saying anything and your tail would still be wagging. <laughs> We're out on our morning walk. We're just discussing the schedule of the day. Schedule of fun today. So what you can expect in this vlog is Christmas decoration. There it goes. We're having eggs for breakfast. <laughs> We're going to 
clear out an area to put the tree. Completely randomly, we have a Christmas fair on up the road. Yeah. So we're gonna see if that's any good. We did go to it on the Jubilee earlier this year, didn't we? And it was absolutely awful. <laughs> Like absolutely awful. We'll see what the Christmas fair is like. Yeah. And then I suggested a Christmassy film, please, for yeah. tonight. Yeah, uh, Netflix has got a load of uh, yeah. Christmassy ones. We'll lots, we've lots got some trash. Yeah, like the Lindsay Lohan one, I want to see that. Uh, so that'll get us in the spirit. Just a cosy little day. I mean, it's Bailey's tonight, isn't it? Oh, quite. If it's Christmas day. It's, it's not Christmas day. No, it's Christmas day. <laughs> Christmas, Christmas decorating it's day. Not Christmas day, it's day of Christ Christmas day. I see. So Bonnie decided it was time to go home. She always decides, dictates how long the walk is. She'll literally just turn at the bit where it's time to go and just leaves. Finished. Yeah, so fair enough. That's, that's, that's enough. Some of you know this by now, but this is my favourite breakfast that Benji does for me. Eggs on toast and with an orange juice and some brown sauce. <laughs> I bought this amazing Christmas jumper in Asda yesterday. It actually lights up, it was 20 pound. And I just thought, I need that. If I take it to Disney, it'll be amazing for the Christmas season or just for at home. It's so, so cozy and warm and comfy. So I thought I'd wear this today for um, decorating, but we actually normally wear our matching PJs for decorating the tree, but We'll see, maybe we'll pop those on later. I've just received a really lovely PR parcel from the team at Beyond the Wand for Tom Felton's book. This is the publishing company that sent it over, not Tom himself, obviously, um, but they know that I'm a big fan of the Wizarding World and I am really excited about this book. I don't know anything about Tom, which I kind of feel like is a really great thing to go into an autobiography like this. Like, either you read it because you're a massive fan or you're intrigued about what it was like to grow up on the set of the Harry Potter films. I just think this is going to be a really great read and there's loads of lovely photos in it as well. And look at this. It's like really beautiful designed the forward is by emma watson how lovely oh i just love them all it's gonna be such a nice read thank you so much to the team at beyond the wand for sending me this and the goodies they've given me a little pin badge which we all know i collect and love pins so very very happy about that a little chocolate frog this candle smells absolutely incredible history of magic if i can find a link i'll leave it linked but wow Amazing. I've done my hair and makeup now, so I'm feeling a bit more fresh, but I am still kind of blown away that um, publishing companies want to send me book PR now because I have started talking about books a lot more on my social pages and loads of you love it. And so it's kind of caught the attention from the publishing companies. They sort of see that I love reading and I haven't read an autobiography this year. So this is gonna be something I can cozy up on the sofa. I'm so looking forward to. Well, I'm looking forward to like going to Florida, obviously, but when we come back, there's gonna be like a period of time where I'm only gonna be doing Disney vlogs. So I'm not gonna be filming or editing anything else for a few weeks. And in those times when I'm not editing, I plan on being on the sofa with my book, especially around Christmas, Boxing Day, New Year's Eve, New Year's Day. Like that's what I want to be doing is reading because the last few weeks have been so crazy busy and I haven't had the chance to sit down with my books as frequently as I would like. The nice thing is as well that none of this packaging goes to waste because I will use this to send my friends Christmas presents. I'm just sat on the sofa doing my stories and I'm also thinking about how we're gonna put the tree in here because I still like it here in the kitchen. It makes the most sense. We've got the most space here. Our lounge is just not quite big enough for a tree. So I think we'll move the piano keyboard uh, upstairs and have it over in that corner. We've currently got a plant there. So basically where that plant is. Before we crack on with the Christmas decorating, I just want to say a huge thank you to HelloFresh who have partnered with me again on this vlog. Loads of you know by now how much we love HelloFresh and I have been sharing it all year and that's because I genuinely love it. I have said this before but we have had over 100 boxes. We get our three meals a week delivered every week. I am a paying customer with Benj obviously and although they sponsor these vlogs we do have a subscription because we love it. It's changed our life having our meals 
pre-portioned, fresh ingredients delivered straight to the door, removes all that stress on what we're gonna be cooking and eating, less trips to the supermarket, and we make so many delicious meals. You can actually pause or skip a week or cancel at any time, it's super flexible. So as we're going to Florida next week, we will pause the subscription obviously for two weeks. And I love the app, I love that you can see all the different meals, how long they take to cook. They have a variety of different meals as well that I haven't talked too much about, but this week we actually have three different meals. We have a roast. So roast is kind of a category that they have as a special sort of extra that you can pay a bit more for. Um, they're premium options. So they have premium, they have ultimate, they have street food recipes, they've got energy saving, they've got family favorites. You can see which ones are really popular and they come in the brown bags with the numbers on, the numbers match the recipe cards. It's been such a big part of our week and life and I'm really excited to share that I have another discount code for you. So I'm sure by now a lot of you have tried HelloFresh already, but just in case you haven't and you're thinking about it, you can use my code, it's Hello Tate is the new code. If you wanna give it a go, I'll have a link in the description for you. And I believe that gets you 50% off your first box and 35% off the next next three plus you get three free gifts which is really exciting i believe one of them might be tony's chocolate which is just amazing by the way but thank you again to hellofresh for sponsoring i look forward to showing you what meal we make later probably a bunch making it but we will eat something yummy later and for now let's get cracking with decorating for christmas i'm not feeling particularly like festive yet even though i've started doing lots of festive things like going to the studios tour Oh, hi, Bonnie girl. I'm hoping by the time the tree is up, it will start to feel really Christmassy, but it is still quite early, I guess. It makes sense for us to put it up right now because we won't get home until mid-December, so by the time we get home, it'll only be a week till Christmas, so we may as well um, put it up now, and um, yeah, it'll all be ready for when we come back, so let's do the tree. So here's the before of the kitchen area. We've moved the sofa and the record player up, and we're gonna move this stuff out, and then the tree will slot in there, hopefully, is the plan might be a bit tight might have to just move that over a bit more but we've got the space it'll look great so the keyboard is up here now it is we're ready to decorate it always feels like such a big job doesn't it yeah it always just feels like we know there's so many boxes and things it's quite and... daunting isn't it <laughs> come on then up you go am i going up <laughs> you can send things down to me i know do you not want to or should we swap? Because yeah, I know where yeah, everything exactly, is. Yeah, and it's easy. I don't know if this is interesting, but this is what our loft currently looks like. It's a little bit of a hot mess. Okay, what happened is we appeared to have some. Yeah, I've just gone up higgledy piggledy. Yep. 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 Yeah. Our necklaces are in that one. Yeah, we need to take those. Yep. Yep. How do two people have so much Christmas stuff? <laughs> I feel like the Christmas tree looked different last year. Oh, behave. Not the Christmas tree. What's the plan? Do we do the tree first then? Because I'm getting a bit excited and I keep opening up all the um, decorations. I will say, how no, many sorry. Mickey and Minnie decorations of them getting married or engaged or wedding related do you think one well, engaged one, couple needs? Because we've, we've got engaged once. One, so. yeah. What about four? Uh, maybe more. There might be more, I haven't four, unboxed. Maybe more. Let me show you. These are just some that we've accumulated this year, so they obviously didn't get wrapped up last year. We even have a really cute little Iona from Piano Cruises that we bought. We've got this one that my lovely friend Becky actually made us recently. I'll leave her linked below in case you want personalized Christmas decorations on these lovely wooden shapes. She does all different ones. Um, we went for this. It says, our first Christmas engaged, Brogan Benji 2022. I thought that was really nice. That will look lovely on any tree. It will make a really nice Christmas gift actually. And if you want to support a small business. So that's Becky. And then this is one of my favorites. I actually bought this in May and I saw it and I knew I wanted to get it. Look, it's got the 50th, 2022 and it lights up as well. So hang on, let me just show you. Oh my gosh. Is that not amazing? And then these are all the <laughs> 
wedding related ones I seem to have been picking up over time. I just can't help myself. Like they're just so lovely. Look at these. They're so cute. And obviously on a tree, they'll just be spread out. And I just love the fact they resemble, you know, things in our life, so. Merry Christmas. Oh, he's put the bunting up. I love this bunting. We got this in a garden center and we left the screws on all year round just yeah. specifically for this bunting. It looks cute. Yeah. Oh, I really am getting carried away now. This is so exciting when you open up the boxes and remember all the different decorations and things that you had. But this was actually my lush advent calendar box last year. And or was it the year before? It might have been the year before actually. And I've used it to store the decorations. And there are so many in here. I, I absolutely love them. Oh, we've got a Baymax upstairs as well, haven't we? In the in the bedroom. We've got Baymax here with lights, but I also bought another Baymax work with a pair of skis. You no know, Baymax's thing is ba la la la. Yeah. Do you know what Christmas Baymax's is? Ba la la la. -la, -la. I knew you were going that way. Ba <laughs> la la la. Honestly. So we've talked about our tree a few times before when we've shown us decorating, but we got this from Balsam Hill. We got it in the sale at an incredible price. Didn't we pay like £250 for it or something? It was less than half price. It's just a really good fake tree. It's pre-lit and it comes in this nice little bag. Easy to put in and out the loft. Love it. Really, really recommend. So now we need to put it together. So this is the before we fluffed and I'm going to show you the after because it takes a while and it's quite boring to just film that for you. So we're just going to spread the branches out and make it look a lot more full so there's no gaps. But yeah, it's such a great size and colour and I love that it's pre-lit. So we'll show you again in a minute. Could still do some more fluffing as you can see there are still some gaps but I think we'll get started on the actual decorating now and this is the box that has all the bits so we obviously are big disney fans and the tree has just become a disney tree so obviously we have tink on the top love that as our little tree topper we have oh these we're going to take to disney with us hopefully they don't get damaged but they are so fun like light up little necklaces Got those to the side and then we have our tree skirt i always wanted a wicker base but then we got the tree train uh, sorry tree the christmas train set and i saw this and i loved it it was part of their like winter collection last year and it's it so fun, it? it does and it's so cute like because we love skiing i just thought it was so apt so look the characters are skiing love 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 so that's going to go underneath at the end so we'll pop that to the side oh hello you're in your christmas pajamas yeah, it's, the, it's the war isn't it she has her own you've got your own one haven't you she does it's too big for her but she does have a jumper don't you jump one. <laughs> so i've just got out all of our sort of generic decorations that are white we've got some really really cute ones these are ones from the years that we've been skiing and on the back i actually managed to <laughs> label up which christmases they were so i could remember the year that was our first christmas together in sestria so i've got all of those out these ones i've talked about all these before so some of you might have seen all this before but i can't remember where i bought these from like a small business they're all little disney ones benji likes those a lot i love them they're my favorite ones yeah and then we have sort of generic i think these are next yeah so we'll put these on first. We'll put them on next. Next, yes. Next. There okay. The tradition is... Oh, we have a bottle of Gibbo Asti from m &S. Cheers. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Happy Chrysler. I hey, will have to leave that vine. I found pretty sure it's vine. Happy Christmas. It's Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Chrysler. So underneath, we realised we've got all these too. I've had these since I lived in my flat. They were from Primark. And they're just so pretty. They were so cheap and just so sparkly. What are you doing? We don't do it. No, the bench. No, not the first ones that go on. No, bench, not. Please, no. It has, it has to be in an order. Stop, these ones go on first. You can have these. No. The 
tree is nearly done. The final bit is tink at the top. I remember last time we had to like... Ages she needs some more branches in there, I think. <laughs> We should have done her first. Get a little step ladder and then you'll have more oh, like oh, No, let me get the step ladder. No, it's oh. not Benj, look at it. It's so wonky. Give it. There we go, I did it. Some of them need a little bit of like sorting out. Interesting. Yeah. I think it looks really nice. Right. It's starting to be a lot a lot less Christmas with a touch of Disney and now it's more Disney with a touch of Christmas. I would say it's a bit mishmash now because we've got stuff from California, Aruba. Cruises. Yeah, we've got Dubai down the bottom. <laughs> we have all sorts of places that we've been. So it has become a little bit mishmash. Should we go to our Christmas fate then? We've taken a break from decorating and we've come down to the local Christmas fate. At the community centre. Yes. It's going to be, it's going to be wild. A few moments later. Right, who's taking the blame for this then? You! You! I said we should have come earlier and you said later. <laughs> we were just a smidge too late because all the stalls were closing up and they were doing the raffle and it was very sweet and wholesome but it just didn't feel right to film. There were lots of children and families and they were meant to be doing carols on the green but uh, they have been rained out. So there was nothing outside. Um, they had a little pizza van, didn't they? Like yeah. A, they, looked, looked, looked really they had a Santa's really grotto nice. for kids to go meet Santa. Apparently there was a maximum age though, so... You can Maybe. meet Santa at Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party if you want. Can I? Yeah. Is it Santa Mickey or is it Santa? No, it's Santa. Ooh. <laughs> right, let's carry on doing decorating, but I will say that that was a lot of effort for our minimal return. So I think we should carry on drinking. <laughs> and... <laughs> and build the train. Right, we've started on the train now. Obviously this runs all around the tree on the it's bottom. It's like growing up scare electrics, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> you love scare electrics when you're in I it. did, yeah. You love scare electrics. Yeah, it was good. I didn't mind the lock Oh, this is such a nice little Christmas train, so I can put that up. I also found some more ears. These are reindeer ears that Benji's mum got me a few years ago, but I also found Little reindeer ones, quite like these. They look cute. The big moment. Yay! It looks so much better with the lights on. <laughs> I think it looks so nice. Some of my favourites are this one, and I love this Mickey. And oh, this one. I remember trying to get this back. I think we got this back from Florida the first time, 2018, I think. And then this, obviously. Oh, it's got the light on. I need to remember to turn that off, actually, because I don't want to waste the battery. I think this one might actually be my absolute favourite with the personalisation on it. We have a pair of skis. We have all the, like, bride and groom ones. Uh, we have two Baymax. We've got the new Baymax down there with a pair of skis. My lovely friend Shannon also has a small business where she makes Christmas decorations too, and she's made us a few over the years. So obviously we had this one when it was our first Christmas as a family three, and then I've just put it on like this. So our names are hanging this year, which looks so nice. Other slightly more random ones, we have a little teapot here when we stayed in the Cotswolds for Christmas last year, was it? Yep. Was it last year? Mm -hmm. We didn't find a Christmas decoration. So we end up buying this tiny little teapot that says Bought on the Water um, to represent that trip. And then I just added some ribbon to it. So that one wasn't technically a Christmas decoration, but we made it one. This is the most recent decoration from our trip to the Caribbean where we went to Flamingo Island and I just love it. So I think that's all the ones I was gonna show you today. I mean, there's so many on here. I love them a lot, but I'm sure we've got some more. Like, I feel like we're missing some, so I'll have to double check. Bonnie is just chilling <laughs> on the sofa. She was asleep on my lap, but I've just stood up. We've just uploaded our annual picture of the three of us, but I forgot we've actually got some bunting that goes along the back that says Merry Christmas. The tree is now finished. There's actually a couple of decorations I think I'm missing. I don't know where they are. Maybe they're still in some boxes, so I'm going to go into that one next. <laughs> what are you wagging your tail for? <gasps> Oh, doorbell. That was an Amazon parcel because I ordered myself some new earrings because mine have made my ear like all infected and they're old. Oh my gosh, how sparkly does my ring look in this light? Oh, 
stunning. So yeah, I bought these, they were £20 on Amazon. They're just very simple sparkly studs, but I thought that they kind of matched my ring. So I thought they'd be really pretty to wear for Christmas time, but just like day to day as well. Oh my gosh, they're so beautiful. I'm also going to decorate this little corner. So I'm gonna move the flowers. We can have those on the worktop. We have finally finished the decoration down here now. And I think I'm gonna keep it all to this area just to make it easier for us when we come to clean it up. But yeah, normally I would spread all this out around the house, but I'm gonna have it all down here. We have some Christmassy bits down there as well. We've got our Santa that we got from a garden center and everything you see has just been like collected or given to us and holds random memories. And I just, yeah, I can't really explain it. It's all just a bit of a mismatch, but I love it. I absolutely love it. So it looks really nice. We've even got the bunting up that my mum gave us last year, which looks nice. One dinner. Well, not yet. <laughs> not yet. So <laughs> then, at the moment. You're going to make a roast dinner. I am. I've never made a roast dinner in this house. So the number, like I said, on the bag matches the number on the card. And this is the meal. It says it will take 45 to 50 minutes. You get this lovely photo. You get all the ingredients listed down the side. And then this is what the recipe card looks like on the back. So Benj is actually going to make the meal. I'm going to come in and see how he's doing. And then I'm going to do the final Christmas touches, which is put the garland up the stairs because it always looks so nice and festive when we do that. I'm walking around, feeling free, thinking about what's happened to me from July. Up till now, don't know where, don't know how. Lately I've come to realize that I can't see it in your eyes, so it's true. This is so exciting, it smells incredible. I'm really happy. Aww. I love cooking, it's so therapeutic. I think what I loved most about that is I love cooking, I love cooking the other meals as well, but I would never have just cooked a roast. No. For the first time out of the blue. <laughs> and the instructions are so good. Did you learn a little it's so bit? so easy to follow, yeah. So it's really kind of like boosted my confidence that I can just make a roast, you know? You can. And they do, there's a chicken one next week. Oh, amazing. Yeah, so they have different meats and things. Cool. Right, let's eat. Yeah. I'm so excited. Okay, this is the film we've chosen to watch, The Falling for Christmas. Number seven in films today, Lindsay Lohan in a cheesy festive rom-com. Sounds perfect. My plate does look a little bit of a mess, but that was absolutely amazing it was pretty good wasn't it it was really good really I'd love to be really... humble but that was fantastic the meat was perfect yeah the um carrots were good all the veg was good the potatoes were nice oh, yeah we, the potatoes. we added a bit of our own gravy didn't we which yeah. was so much on the plate but <clears throat> it was so good and we're 10 minutes into this film and it's so cheesy Horrendous. and so good oh <laughs> It's set in a ski lodge and we love skiing. Mm. So the film was totally trash. But what do you expect from a Netflix Christmas film like that? It was... Nah, nah. <laughs> Benji hated it. I love, I love a trash film. <laughs> that was actively bad. I quite liked it. We've watched that. Now we're going to go to bed. I've put on Christmas bedding. So that's nice. We've got the Christmas bedding on. And um, yeah, I'll probably do a little bit more bits and bobs here and there tomorrow, but we've just put the reef on the front door as well. And it's all decorated. So we've just got to put the empty boxes back in the loft so that they're not in the way. And then tomorrow we're gonna spend some time with my family. I'm gonna bring some games over. And before you know it, we'll be in Walt Disney World. So the next vlog you see will be a pack with me video just before we leave. I'm hoping to get that turned around and show you what we pack. It'll be a bit different because I've heard it can be chilly at Walt Disney World at this time of year. So we'll see. But we are both just so, so beyond excited to be going back after four years for Benj. I got to go out earlier this year on a press trip, but this trip has been so long in the making so please do hit subscribe so you don't miss our disney vlogs it will be all disney for quite a few weeks so 
if that's not for you i promise we'll be back very very soon with these normal sort of home vlogs as well i'm not sure what january will look like i know i'm going to do a few things towards the end of the month but yeah it'll be two disney vlogs a week for a while so i hope you love them while i'm here i also just wanted to take this time because this will be the last home vlog and last chance i get to sort of say something on vlog but i just wanted to say thank you so so much for all your support this year all the amazing comments you leave me watching the vlogs uh there's it's been so many highs and lows this year it's been the most like yo-yo kind of year for us and i have so much gratitude every single day that i have such an amazing supportive community of people here on my channel so thank you honestly it means a lot to me and um hopefully we'll hit 100,000 subscribers next year is the big goal um and then we'll be coming up to the one year mark till we get married and oh my gosh it's just been so much madness thank you again to HelloFresh for sponsoring this one like I said hello Tate is your code and I'll leave those details below for you and I just had the loveliest most wholesome easy day you know like so nice decorating I can't wait to sit here and read a book by the tree it's gonna be so cozy but yes have a lovely christmas and happy new year to you all sending you lots and lots and lots of love and um and i'll see you again in the disney vlogs thanks for watching bye <laughs>